today's video, I've got a brand new addition. What's up everybody, Anthony with Granddaddy Herbs back again with another video. Yes! Today's video, I've got a brand new addition. It's a female ball python. Stay tuned, it's gonna be exciting. Real quick guys, I wanna touch base on the previous video about the uh, t-shirt giveaway. If you didn't see that video, please go back to the previous video to see how you guys can win one of these awesome shirts. This Sunday, I'm gonna make a post, I believe I'm gonna do it, um, I'm gonna find a way to do it, I think maybe through Instagram or somehow through the community on YouTube, or better yet, I think I'm gonna actually make a video of my top five favorite pictures that were sent over to me, and I'll have you guys vote in the comments. I think that'll actually be the best way to go about doing it, so you guys have until Sunday, or basically tomorrow's gonna be the cutoff Saturday, depending on when you guys see this video, it's probably gonna be Saturday, so you have end of the day, today, Saturday, and uh, to get your entries in to win this awesome t-shirt Sunday I'll drop a video sometime where I'll have you guys vote and then we'll announce the winner um, sometime maybe early next week and we'll get the shirt sent out guys so uh, again check the previous video so you can see what's required to enter and uh, good luck to you guys I had a lot of great entries already a lot of funny ones exciting ones and uh, looking forward to giving away the t-shirt stay tuned okay guys I'm gonna show you my new ball python this is a female. Let's see if I can push her into the shot here. Give you guys a second to kind of soak that in and try to guess what you think it is. The most obvious is the leopard with the pattern. And she's pastel, but she's also hypomelanistic. So I know a lot of you guys call hypo ghost, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of history and a little bit of uh, factual information on the so-called ghost gene and hypomelanistic. Um, originally when the hypo was imported it was called ghost um, but turns out it's actually hypomelanistic meaning a lack in black pigmentation not a completely um, reduction or a complete reduction in black pigment so in most snakes um, a ghost is generally an aneurytheristic mixed with hypomelanistic and this is not the case for this animal here but a true ghost in ball pythons is actually a exanthic hypomelanistic. That's a true ghost in ball pythons. So a lot of people call these ghosts, but it's actually they're actually not ghosts. Um, they are hypos. I always call them hypos. I call them for what they really are. But look at this girl. Look at her head. If I can get the camera to focus on her head. Her head is just absolutely beautiful. All this, all the jagged eye striping. Really nice washed out head, really cool patterns. Looks like a, a turtle like a, with a sad face and a bunny rabbit right here. Really, really beautiful girl. And it's funny, the, the last video talks about me having you guys find the cool patterns in your animals. <laughs> so, huge plans with this girl. Plans are to get um, the blackhead hypo into this animal here. Make some blackhead leopard hypo stuff and eventually the super blackhead hypo stuff with a few combinations on top of that. Definitely want to get spot nose into this project as well. Want to get the nanny gene, the blitz gene, a couple other things into the hypo project. Ironically, I early on my second ball python morph was a male hypo and for some reason I just kind of I gave up on that project. I wasn't really into it anymore. I didn't see anything that really caught my eyes and anything I really wanted to work on. So I let that male go. And then seeing the, the market value of the hypos, I kind of lost complete interest in it because they weren't really holding their value. But after seeing a lot of these darker combos like Super Chocolate, GHI, it really made me consider the hypo gene again. And then I got the blackhead hypo girls and the blackhead hypo male. And I have the black pastel yellow belly crystal that's also 100% hypo. So I realized I need to get couple more females involved in the hypo project but man this girl's just posing for you guys she's just absolutely gorgeous look at all those cool patterns it's really really busy blackhead's gonna go so nice with this 
But yeah, guys, tell me what you think. This week's shout out goes to Todd over at TNT Balls. Thank you so much for your support. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to get your entries in by the end of today. That way you have a chance to win this t-shirt. Uh, super excited about this girl and this pickup. Huge project lined up for the future with the Blackhead Leopard, Blackhead Leopard hypo stuff. Uh, I'm just super, super pumped up about it. But um, if you're brand new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. it lets me know what kind of content you guys want to see, and if you're enjoying this content, I'll make more of it. Uh, don't forget to go in the description, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. I, I post pretty regularly on Instagram, so if you guys want more content from me, that's a good place to go look. So, until next time, guys, Anthony with Granddaddy Herbs. Peace.